Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And making a pass sticker is part of my dumping template. In fact, uh, I have developed a template that you can use uh, the same uh, skin as well as the fillings to make a pass sticker, shumai, as well as one ton. Uh, the difference is really how you cook them, as well as um, they are folded differently uh, to maximize uh, the outcome uh, of the dish. Uh, for this uh, pass sticker, I actually have prepared the skin in advance. Uh, this skin has been stored in the refrigerator for about two days. Uh, I also have uh, prepared the filling in advance. Uh, after I uh, place the filling in the middle of the skin, uh, I use the spoon to wet the edge of the skin. Uh, I then fold the skin up to enclose the filling within. Uh, that little bit of moisture is enough uh, for the skin to seal. Uh, I press the skin a little bit together and then I kind of uh, make it uh, like a little pleat along the edge of the skin. And I push the filling uh, toward the bottom and I bend the uh, plastic slightly. Uh, so this is actually very simple. Uh, this filling contains uh, chicken, shrimp, uh, cabbage, napa cabbage, and mushroom. Uh, I have used the same filling uh, to make the wonton earlier. So as you can see, uh, both the filling and the skins are interchangeable. Uh, the main difference in pastica is that you uh, fry them. Uh, in fact, actually, this is a combination of uh, steaming and frying. Uh, I cooked the pastica in my uh, Cucina 14-inch standard steel wok. And make sure you season the wok very well. I season my wok with my spot seasoning method. If you are not familiar with this method, you can take a look at this video. At this point, I add a little bit more oil. It is important that the uh, pastica do not burn to the bottom of the wok. And next, I'm going to add about uh, two to three tablespoons of water. Uh, I then cover the wok with uh, a cover. The water in the wok will steam the pastica uh, to make sure the chicken and the shrimp uh, are properly cooked. Uh, so basically, the first step in making pastica is actually you steam the pastickers. It actually is a pretty clever method. Uh, as you steam, the water will start to evaporate. It usually takes about 5 to 10 minutes uh, to have the ingredients properly cooked. Uh, once the water has evaporated, the oil at the bottom of the wok now will start to fry the pot stickers. At this point, I'm going to leave the wok cover open uh, so that the bottom of the pot sticker will be fried and actually will be slightly charred. Uh, some people like them pretty uh, well charred and that will give them a nice crispy texture. Uh, this is really a very clever cooking method. Uh, it gives the pot sticker both a soft and a crisp texture. A pastica and uh, so-called jiaozi uh, is really uh, the same thing. A jiaozi is very popular in a uh, northern part of China. Instead of frying them, uh, you just boil them. And then you serve them uh, in a soup. Uh, so in this case, jiaozi and wonton is basically the same thing. A wonton is more popular in the southern part of China. Uh, however, pastica has become very popular in the United States uh, over the past decades. Uh, so with my template based approach, uh, now it is easy uh, for me to cook all of these three dumplings relatively easily. Uh, the end result is that I'm going to, to make my meal more diverse and interesting as well. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe and share. I'll see you next time.